just uh, well before we start we're about uh, 17 minutes away from kickoff here so there's a couple of things that uh, need to mention most of all the captain of George Ella Kobe it's his last ever game after a 19 year professional career comes from Cameroon Cameroon International he's played in the top flight of English football for Wolverhampton Wanderers I believe he uh, scored a goal against Manchester United even he while he was in Wolves colours and he spent the last three seasons of his career with us here at Maidstone United and he's decided that he's going to be calling it a day and he has been an enormous influence both on and off the pitch as a Maidstone rebuilt during these last three seasons. Walters, Gandor and Deacon. Very in. square to that as well Fred rather than yeah, diagonal. An angle. Here it comes, the shot goes over the top of the wall and Adler just lets it go into the side netting space there Fred should give Maidstone a lot of uh, encouragement there because it was a good 20 yards between back four and midfield four and Gandor there in acres of space to come back and retrieve that ball so Maidstone hopefully gets some more support for Haiti as the minutes progress but real big space and opportunity for Maidstone there and there's a bit of space here for Walters now Walters is running forward charging into opposition territory a fairly weak shot in the end Defenders Ella Kobe home. brings it forward to Deacon. Deacon turns his man, plays it inside to Phillips. And Phillips loses possession to Barzi. Barzi goes forward, plays it forward to Osharia. Osharia will roll it back into uh, Barzi's foot. And uh, there's a George Ella Kobe classic <laughs> challenge there, to put it out for a corner. Massive celebration from him yeah. in doing so as well, Fred, as is customary. Yes, you don't often hear cheers when uh, you've conceded a corner, but I think George. Maidstone have got a free kick midway inside the Hampton half. It's going to be taken by Regan Booty, who lines it up, crosses towards the far side of the area, aiming for Ella Kobe. And Ella Kobe will bring it under control. He'll chip it to the area. Oh! Oh! Wow! Well, you couldn't write that. George Ella Kobe curls the ball like Thierry Henry <laughs> into the far corner of the post. Wow. He's only scored one goal for Maidstone prior to today. <laughs> Where the hell did that come from, Sean? From the stars, I think, Fred. That was absolutely beautiful. He's just taken it down, got it outside of his body, and he's just curled on it to the far post past Alan Julian. And what a finish and what a moment for they the did entire Gallagher to be a lot on, did there? And there are certain players that you probably would back to have a crack from there. That is a brilliant goal by George Elakobi. What a in moment. In his last game as a professional, he's <laughs> milking the applause. and well he deserves to fantastic goal from a central defender to Regan Booty Booty plays it to right footed to Jerome Binham Williams he's got Deacon in front of him he's going to overlap him Booty's inside now Deacon overlaps Binham Williams who rolls it into the path of Rory Deacon back to Binham Williams Ben and Williams through the defender's legs. Booty in the area. Booty's going to shoot. It's going to go just wide. And I did wonder for a second if it took a deflection. But uh, it doesn't look like it did. And that would go out of play for a Hampton goal kick. So as it is, Hadler picks it up fairly comfortably. Knocks it downfield. Phillips continues for now. Corman wins the header. Knocks it forward looking for Gandor. Gandor does well there to bring that under control. He's it's a bit of support, he's at the byline is Gandor, he rolls it in, looking for Phillips, it's going to fall for Korn, Korn will shoot, and it'll be deflected just wide, and it's a corner to Maidstone, didn't see where it came off, may have been, uh, I think it was Imran Ushi actually, who got the last touch there, he's defending by him, but here comes the second corner, Booty knocking it into the area, this time goes straight up into the air by Donaldson, Korn wins the header, it might come for Gandor, it might come for Deacon, it might come for Phillips, and it does come for Phillips, and Phillips knocks it over the bar. Booty goes one way, then goes the other. Plays it to Ella Kobe. Ella Kobe to Phillips, back to Booty. Booty inside to Walters, it's just behind him. And Hampton will get it back with uh, Al Sharia, who is uh, searching forward. Al Sharia now playing it into the path of the number 15, Fisher. Fisher still in possession, left hand side of the area thinks about shooting, does shoot and scores a great goal. That is a uh, tremendous finish by David Fisher there. He was 
at a very unfavourable angle and he's picked out the top corner. Terrific equaliser for uh, Hampton and Richmond, making it 1-1 well, I mean, with uh, 40 George minutes gone here. George Alacopi's goal was pretty special there, Fred, earlier, but that was a thunderous finish from David Fisher, just getting himself some space in the box. It was Inman who made that block, apologies. Yep. Uh, Booty now putting his hand up, corner is going to come in towards the far post where Gandor is unmarked, Gandor heads it across goal, might yet fall for Deacon, Deacon in the area, trying to bring it under control, gets towards the byline, two defenders blocking his path, he's got Gandor, the ball is headed clear, Elakobi thinks about going for the rebound, but decides to uh, get back into a defensive position, Fowler mops up the danger, knocks it forward for Walters, it'll bounce for Gandor, Gandor edge of the area, Gandor lays it off to Phillips, Phillips into the area, Phillips lays it back to Korn, Korn will shoot, it'll fall for Gandor and it's going to go just wide! Oh. Brandon Barzi. I think it was mainly uh, Booty trying to get over the top of Barzi there. ball forward to Ify Allen, Mason temporarily caught napping but Ben Williams has recovered. You know, Allen is into the area, Allen will shoot, and Allen shoots only just wide there. Didn't miss by much at all, did Ify Allen. It was a great effort there, he managed to turn Alakobi inside out there. and He's uh... got uh, half a dozen amber shirts to aim at, goes for the near post this time, fisted up in the air by Julian. Alakobi might fall for him again, he's going to have another shot, is he, Alakobi? Might fall for Korn, Korn's shot is uh, deflected wide, is it? And it'll be another corner for Maidstone. Deacon for Maidstone, Deacon, byline, Deacon into the area, Deacon squares it, it's not been cleared yet, he was trying to find Phillips, the ball is now with Phillips after a header from Gavin Hoyt, it's uh, back of Hoyt, Hoyt will cross towards the far side of the area, Gandor lurking, it's going to fall for Binham Williams, he's uh, got Allen in front of him, might fall for Korn, Korn will turn and shoot and it's just wide! Such a good turn and shot from Sam Korn but he couldn't quite steer it in at the far post. They would rely on a fairly unlikely set of results. Not impossible, but unlikely. As uh, Gandor almost runs into Walters, but he manages to get it laid off to Booty. Booty thinks about shooting, plays in Phillips. Phillips will shoot, and Phillips shoots over the bar. It was just rising, and... And Barzi will come away with it. Plays it to Al Sharia, to Donaldson. Donaldson keeps possession, plays it out wide to Allen. Allen now coming inside. Allen, two defences in front of him, skips past, shoots and shoots just wide again. That's his second chance of the half. Ify Allen, one yard wide again. Ball floats in towards the penalty spot and there's a header and it's just wide. And it's Dean Inman. Oh. And here comes Fisher with a free kick. I'm sure he's going to shoot. He uh, chips it instead. Good chip by him. And that's a goal for Hampton. The offside flag is up, though. I was going to say, Fred, it was definitely offside there. Inman was a good yard or so offside. Very good officiating from the uh, assistant referee on the far touchline. Ball is uh, flicked on towards Deacon. Deacon into the area. Deacon has got Ben inside if he can find him. It's a good save by the keeper and it's oh. just wide from Ben and Williams. I'm not quite sure how he's missed that one, Sean. Goodness me, yeah. Well, um, I've never actually seen this for a player before. John Terry. Here comes Elakobi. He's doing a little trip round. It's a uh, very strange moment, this Elakobi going over, he's shaking hands with the assistant referees, clapping everybody on every side of the ground. The uh, players on both sides have formed a guard of honour for him. Uh, <laughs> he's gone down in the box. It's... Uh, Nothing given, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's clapping all four sides of the ground. And you've got to say, uh, full respect to the Hampton players as well for uh, forming a guard of honour for him here. It's going to be replaced by Joel. It's uh, a very emotional moment. The player who's had such an illustrious career going off. Such a likeable person as well, Fred. A great, great yep. human being as well. Great humans who have had around the club for the last three years. He's going off. It's a chant of one George Elakobi goes up from the Elvis end. Being hugged by Joe Ellel, who is his replacement. I don't want to 
want to tempt fate here because it's what happened last week and it's what happened at uh, Welling but everyone's been told they know in fairly no fairly uncertain terms not to do it here comes Powell from Maidstone Powell into the area Powell's going to shoot and it's just wide again Powell so close to giving Maidstone the lead there and uh, A bit of pressure building here from a Mason point of view. Here's Booty to swing it left footed towards the near post. And it's going to be headed in and it's Jerome Ben and Williams to make it 2 1 to Maidstone. Beautiful cross in from Regan Booty and Jerome Ben and Williams, one of uh, many very well deserving candidates for player of the season, in my opinion, has headed that one in at the far post. What a player he has been for Mason this season. He sort of joined after the start of the campaign. Good clearance by him. Gets it forward to Sam Corn, who has been another star player this year. Very easily be named player of the season. I have a suspicion it might be Joel that gets it. But uh, here's Binner Williams now into the area. Binner Williams could be a third here for Mason. And it's a third. It's Hadi Gandor, is it? It's offside, I'm afraid. <laughs> The uh, flag goes up. Gandor, I think, thought he scored Mason's third there, but uh, yeah, he looked like he was ahead. Of looked like he was ahead of his defender. So the offside flag goes up. In just about 60 seconds' time, regardless of what happens, the ball is pumped towards the edge of the area where Joe Ell heads it clear as far as a Hampton player. It goes out of play, and that'll be it. Mason United are National South champions. They've won the league. They've won here 2-1 against Hampton and Richmond.